Guys, what's going on? It's Percy here from P4C. Welcome back to the channel. In front of you and I, we have the Terra Pagos. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing the Pokemon name right. Uh, Terra Pagos Ultra Premium Collection Box. Uh, I think Pokemon starting to push these out a little bit more, include a few fancy promo. Uh, the collection set prior to this was the Mew one, and then the one prior to the Mew was the Charizard one. So we're now up to this one here. Of course, uh, we are going to open this. Now, to my surprise, this has actually dropped quite early. Uh, I'm maybe the first person in the world exclusively opening up this uh, because this is not due to release for another month, apparently. So we'll see uh, what we can get inside. Uh, before we do the opening, just a quick shout out. Uh, we have created another channel, a separate channel for uh, YouTube shorts, uh, shorter form content. I wanted to do more content uh, with uh, more effective of my time and I think shorter form content uh, may be the way to go. So we are still going to continue with long form content, early openings and review on this particular channel for all the training cards. Uh, and for shorter form content, uh, we will have it on the shots channel, uh, which should be in the description below. Uh, or the drop down link hopefully and uh, it will be greatly appreciated if you guys go and subscribe to that particular channels as well all right that's it let's go into our openings for today and let's see what's inside this uh, ultra premium collection box all right here we go uh, not have the right tools here but seems like this particular plastic is pretty easy to open uh, so we're gonna open that uh i on the back of the box, obviously, it tells you already what's inside the box. Uh, then these are the three promos that you're going to get and a picture example of what you're going to get. Uh, but we will open it and uh, show each item uh, fully so you can see it more in person rather than in pictures. Now, these box quite often uh, are really well set up. So let me show you guys the front here. This is where the promos are stored. And then the rest of the box and i guess you can pretty much see everything that's in here again we'll go through item by item uh, and uh, showcase it to you guys all right first item here we have a deck box uh to tell you the truth i thought this box was going to be a little bit bigger uh i thought it's one of those uh, double deck boxes you can store two decks but this is uh, incredibly smaller than uh, than i thought you would be but you get a deck box uh can hopefully store 60 cards uh, depending on which sleeve you use and then we do get some dice here, uh, damage counters, we get a big coin and the uh, the poison and the burn. Uh, this point here, most likely not going to be able to use to flip to start a game, but maybe able to use uh, to for uh, ability use. Uh, and then we get this really, actually really lovely set of um, reverse holo. I guess this is part of what they call the crack ice. Uh, pattern um, energies here so you've got all for each one of uh, the fairy energy is no longer available so there's one there none there but i believe just looking at it maybe i'll just open it now instead of second guessing here i believe there's only one right yeah so there's only one energy card uh, for these sort of crack eyes so you might have to ask for people <laughs> if they're not interested in the energy cards to uh, give them away uh, and then you get this free cards holder. Now, what's really interesting though, I'm assuming, I'm assuming uh, there is something that can support these so if they can stand up like this, because this is what it looks like at the moment. I think this is kind of magnetic, if it's not correct. No, I can't really open it at the moment. I don't know how to, I think it is. Okay, it is magnetic, so you can just open it like that and you should be able to fit three cards in and why do they have a free card holder is because they have these uh, three promos here so which I will take out uh, you've got the Terrigos uh, you've got the Lapras and then you've got the Cinderace I don't know how people would feel about this to tell the honest truth I'm just looking in to see if there's anything here um, you know Lapras first generation Kanto Cinderace uh, and then Terrigos uh, I personal opinion i probably am not going to use this particular frame for these three pokemon uh but if you are a competitive player like myself and uh, it's always good to have uh, you know high rare cards for your deck so that's that and then moving on what else do we have we do have a playmat um, 
I am going to open it uh, because I did say I wanted to show everything in uh, real person rather than photos. Uh, so this is what the play, play mat looks like and you can see it is quite significantly bigger than the one that I'm using. So uh, for those who are playing at home, there is a play mat size different uh, when you're comparing uh, the Japanese play mat to the American play mats. The, the American play mats are a tiny well actually I wouldn't say tiny bit bigger they are substantially bigger as you saw on screen there so that's i think that's pretty much about it beside uh, the packs now we also have this which i don't think is anything uh but let me know in the comment section if you think if... ah i know what this is now there we go so it is so we do have a stand this is the stand for the uh the three parts part frame here so this is the stand for it. I was like, mm, this is quite strange. Uh, and of course, we get some packs. And let's see how many packs we've got. We've got Stellar Crown, or what kind of packs we've got. We've got Stellar Crown, Twilight Masquerade, uh, Temporal Forces, uh, Paradox Rift, Obsidian Flame. So I think we get, uh, just having a look here. Uh, so we get four packs and then four Temporal Force we only get two, so I don't know why only Temporal Force we get two, but everything else we get four. So let's do a quick opening to see what's inside with these kind of boxes. The hit rates will be really random, uh, and I guess this is the true testament, uh, hopefully, uh, of whether you should get these ultra premium box or not. Let's go. Alright, I believe in order, uh, the Obsidian Flame came out first, and then there was the... Uh, uh, Paradox Rift. So, with what we saw, Charizard being at the front, if we can pull the Charizard card, that will be great. But any hit is a amazing result. Uh, if we get full art, if we get uh, SIR, whatever it may be, let's see how we go. Mawal, and then the Toka is here. So, nothing from our first pack here, which is okay. If you haven't seen uh, our latest opening, uh, we have in fact opened the latest English set. The wow, okay, what's going on here? This cut is significantly bigger. Wow, okay. Uh, we'll see what it is. Uh, we have opened Searching Spark. Uh, for those who are playing at home, we open the entire box, booster box, and the ETB as well. Uh, so make sure you go check it out. Uh, there, sh there should be links in the description below. Uh, combi. Uh, so and then we do pull a Charizard card, but this particular Charizard card is a tad bigger than the normal size. So I'm going to use this card here to showcase it to you guys. If I do it, uh, no, it's not. Well, why, why did it feel really weird just now? Okay, all right, maybe I'm uh, drunk on cards, but uh, we did pull a Charizard, Charizard EX. It feels different. This card, for some reason, it feels different. Um, maybe it is the border? Is it the border that feels different? Maybe I'm tripping. Uh, maybe it's been a while since we opened uh, Obsidian Flame. It has actually been a while since we opened it. Uh, we did get an EX card. We did get a Charizard. We, get, we got exactly what we asked for. Uh, it's always fun to come back to these and revisit these. We're off, we're off here. Dratini and then a Thunderous here come back and revisit the uh, older set uh because yeah i haven't i would say i haven't opened these since uh since they since they came out so let's see it does no oh, no i know why because the card kind of sticks together a little bit that's why it feels a little bit different um now how why did i get these early i actually don't have an official uh answer i didn't steal them uh, from the Pokemon Factory, uh, nor uh, Pokemon. Oh, oh Tagger here, a full art here. Wow, this is weird. We always do this when we talk about something, when we distract ourselves, we often get pulled. So I was trying to start on this particular story on why do we get stuff earlier, and then uh, here it is. We get a we get a full art trainer hit here. We get a Tagger. I think I believe I pulled this card a few times now. Uh, going into Paradox Rift. All right. Uh, so I didn't steal these, uh, nor did I get them from illegal means. Uh, now, the reason why I think um, this particular region, uh, 
in Asia, uh, specifically I live in Hong Kong, why do we get the products a little bit early, in, uh, especially this time around? Now, I think everything beside the packs, um, so you, you look at the deck box, the, the damage counters and everything else, these are, I'm pretty sure, made in China. Uh, they're not made in, uh, they're not made in the US, nor are they made in uh, Japan. So I got a funny feeling that the cards, the packs may be printed in US or printed in Japan and then the, pa the packs get sent over to China and then uh, China probably makes everything else, uh, the box, the deck box, everything else. And then when they, uh, this time around, maybe in terms of shipping wise, for whatever reason, they decided to ship out to from China. Uh, maybe they have other special arrangement previously. I don't know. But since the product is ready in in uh, in China, and maybe maybe if they needed to ship internationally or ship back to the US, they have to go through Hong Kong. And then maybe it may, I'm saying a lot of maybe, and I apologize. Uh, and and the reason why I'm saying a lot of maybe because I I really don't know. Uh, but in order to ship back to US. Uh, they have to go through Hong Kong and then they say, you know what, these stuff need to go out anyway. Uh, we need to, it's kind of silly if we ship to US and then ship back to Hong Kong. We might as well just uh, let these guys uh, have it early. And then voila, uh, here it is. Uh, we have an early, exclusive early opening and review. Uh, again, I didn't go and steal. I didn't negotiate uh, with any Pokemon people that is working at the company, I don't have any relative working for Pokemon, and most importantly, we're not sponsored by Pokemon, uh, so I am very blessed to be able to deliver this early opening uh, and review for you guys, uh, so far no art rare hit, a little support here, uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy it, uh, I don't know if this is potentially dangerous for our channel or not, because I did buy them, I, I did pay money for them, and I paid full price uh, for them. I, I'm not saying I, uh, you know, uh, got a discount or or pay less or whatever it may be. So that's that. All right, continuing on to our opening. Let's see. Uh, we are pretty quiet since we pulled this particular uh, full art trainer card. Well, I got that. You know, already having one hit is better than having zero here so i should be already pretty happy with the result uh, having said that we still have eight packs to go there's still hopes of some bangers to come on valiant a skyther and then a corridor ancient here uh 230 ex all right another ex all right going into twilight masquerade there are some it's in terms of Pokemon in this particular set, and um, you got the Dragon Pole, you got the um, you got the Ogre Pawns. They are really playable cards at the moment in the TCG. So if we pull them, that would be great. The Draclo. Oh my goodness, we pull a gold card here, a Rescue Board, and then a Anomorous here. Wow. Okay, that's pretty nice. That is. Really nice. We're gonna get the sleeves out. Another big hit. Another big hit here. I'll take it. So this is only the start of our Twilight Masquerade. So we still have a few more uh, packs left. Let us know in the comment section whether our story makes sense to you. Again, this is just my speculation. I don't have the right answer. I don't have the full answer because. You know, a lot of people seem to ask us how do we get it early, and I truly don't have an answer for you guys. And I'm only suspecting uh, because uh, things have to be shipped from Hong Kong, and and then that's why we get it just a tad earlier than uh, everyone else. So, all right, and nothing here. Team S Pokemon. All right, last pack of our uh, Twilight Masquerade. 
I see any more bangers to come. I mean, with this, I would say this is uh, pretty, in terms of as an opening, this is already pretty successful. Uh, getting a full art trainer, getting a gold card, there's not much more uh, you can ask for a galley. And then a Sinus Char, EX here, another EX card. All right, so three EX. All right, going into uh, the last four pack, which is uh, Stellar Crown, the set before the Surging Spark. Let's see if we can end this is opening well. Charge about a food food. Me too. Elder Gross. Right on. The turtle. And then a El Primi here. So nothing from our first Stellar Crown pack. Going into the second pack. And, you know, to be honest, I'm just having a thought right now. I don't know if this will last. Maybe. Maybe they will say, okay, we don't want to ship cards from Hong Kong anymore. We want to ship them elsewhere. And maybe Hong Kong will get the same treatment as everyone else. Uh, all right, Elagos, Prispin, Dipton, Brogadier, and then a Grimsnar here. Yeah, all right. Two more packs to go. Two more packs to go. Do we have another one? Do we have one more big hit that we can showcase? Uh, this will be another great opening if we pull a SIR here as we get a Lapras. A Terrestrial Lapras here. We of course got one from the promo. We have another one here. All right, last pack here. Let's see uh, if we can get some last pack. Uh, All right. Okay. Oh, this is uh, this is energy. Joy Chi. Alright, what is it going to be? Triflin. A creamy. No. Art ray or S I R. Last card. A Buffalon here. Alright, well that's it for our opening. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video bringing you guys an early exclusive. Uh, opening a review of the Terrapagos, uh, what is it called? Ultra Premium Collection. All right, with that said, uh, if you did enjoy this particular video, make sure you smash the like button, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And hopefully you will also subscribe to our Shorts channel as well. Uh, with that said, if you are opening some Pokemon cards or whatever it may be, may the God of Pools be with you always.